What's up YouTube? What's going on guys? So today I want to do a video on leg drive and the bench press and understanding uh, one, the physics behind leg drive. And this is going to be part one in the series. Part two, I'm going to actually cover the different styles of leg drive, how there's various ways to do this. I'm someone who actually doesn't utilize a lot of leg drive. I rely more on stability in my bench press as where some people uh, utilize a ton of leg drive, like my buddy Feynman, who I'll show you later. Uh, he did some demoing for his like style of leg drive. Uh, and so that'll be covered in part two. But in, in this first part, I really want to cover the physics behind it and what's really happening, which I think will help you understand how to craft your technique in the bench press to best utilize leg drive because this is a very misunderstood topic. If there's one lift I'm actually really proud of out of all my lifts, it's my bench press. Although it's actually my weakest lift by competition standards, it's something I've worked my ass off to even get to where it's at because I'm not built for it. I have very long arms so my range of motion is huge and I have very skinny wrist joints and weak interior pushing muscles. So just all around, like I am not geared for the bench press but it's decently competitive these days because I've worked so hard for it and I understand and the mechanics behind it and what do I need to do to carry out to achieve the best uh, bench I can get. I also uh, kind of pat myself on the back with teaching the bench press. Uh, I get all my athletes to bench really big numbers. My girlfriend, before we started working together, uh, her best bench was 132 pounds. Here you can see her doing 145 pounds for a double, somewhere around RP8 or so. Uh, she's made a ton of gains in just a few months time. But let's actually get into understanding the leg drive and the bench press. This is my buddy Feynman who utilizes a ton of leg drive, so it's a good visual for you guys to see. But you can see him here doing some lighter sets, and you can really see him aggressively pushing his legs. Now, what people don't understand with leg drive is when you are pressing your legs into the floor, that force is being transmitted into the shoulders. You're basically pushing your shoulders deeper into the pad, and then that force is then transmitted up into the bar. I'm going to show you that here on the screen right now. He pushes his legs into the ground. Then that force is transmitted up through the femur and then through the torso into his shoulders which pushes against that pad and then that force is then transmitted up into the bar as he presses out. And when done correctly, and there's different ways to do this, and I'll cover that in the next video, we get what we call leg drive in the bench. Now, I've heard people say things like you want to push your body as if you're trying to slide off the pad. That's literally doing the opposite of what we want in the bench press. The idea is to actually drive our shoulders into that pad more, which then lets us transmit force up. Now, my girlfriend Kristen here, you can see her using leg drive, although it's less noticeable. But notice how her butt pops up right there as she pushes her legs into the ground. Again, that force is being pushed into her shoulders, which pushes them into that pad and then back up into her arms to that bar. And that's how the force is transmitted to the bar. And I think when you understand that, you understand what you're trying to push. You see that downward angle? The more you can get your shoulders angled downward, the better. However, when we get force pushing out against the pad in a horizontal manner, that is the opposite of what we want, okay? Now, to really understand this, I want to give you this visual here of Feynman uh, getting ready to bench press or get into his bench press arch. If we were able to bench press in this position with our feet up onto the bench, obviously the range of motion would be extremely short, which I'll get into that actually in a second. But even if we could find some weird cambered bar where we could still get the same range of motion as usual, you would know your bench press would be inherently easier in this position because you could drive your shoulders into that pad so much more. We would get far more leg drive by being able to just push with your legs and dig those shoulders into the pad. And that's really what we're trying to achieve when we get leg drive. We're trying to jam those shoulders against the pad, which then allows us to transmit force up into that bar. Um, I do want to talk about in the next video the different styles of leg drive though because some people utilize leg drive the whole rep like myself where as I'm lowering the weight and as I pause and as I press I'm trying to drive my legs into the ground the whole time. Some people time it just for the press to where they, they push right off the chest with their legs and some people do it uh, kind of in between where on the way down they're pressing with the legs and then they let off on the chest and kind of sink the bench and then when they press after the pause they start initiating that leg drive again. That'll be a, a topic for the next video and how you want to uh, choose based on your own anatomy and like what kind of requirements you'll have for the best bench press. But I feel like this visual will really help you understand that. And that's just the, the simplistic part of this first video. That's what I wanted to start with. This is going to be part one, guys. Um, 
I promise in part two I'll get more in depth. I just wanted to bang this video out real quick, keep up with the, the frequent uploads, get this on YouTube for you guys, and get you kind of talking and understanding this. And then the next video will bang out a more in-depth understanding of leg drive and how there's different ways of using it and really getting that to, to help you out with your bench press. And if someone should be more like myself and utilize less leg drive and require more stability and things like that, or if someone should use utilize a ton of leg drive like Feynman, or if you should be somewhere in the middle like Chris where uh, she uses a good bit but still stays tight and has a ton of stability in her press, doesn't sink bench, things like that. So I'll get into that next video, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And until next time.